Hi everyone, Ted Levine with Ted Levine Golf, Better Skills for Better Scores. In today's video, I want to talk to you about being a more consistent bunker player. Now, no matter what you hear from a touring professional when they say that the bunker shot is the easiest shot in golf, statistically, it is not. It is the toughest shot for, for the most amateur golfers. So, what I want to talk about in this video is getting set up, working on a very easy drill to get you more consistent, and then talk about controlling the distance. Okay, so when we talk about the setup, the first thing that we want to do is we want to dig in our feet. And, and when you dig in your feet, what you're going to do is you're going to create stability and you're actually going to lower yourself, which will help us to catch the sand a little bit before you hit the ball. Now, the sand wedge already has bounce built into it. It already wants to resist digging in. So when you're doing this drill, I don't want you to open up your face. I want you to set your face up square just like you would on a, on a pitch shot. Okay, so get your feet dug in for stability, and then we're gonna do the line drill that we've done in the past. We're gonna do it a little bit different. So I'm just gonna draw this line, and I want this line to be a little bit forward of center. So it's just a little bit to the left for a right-handed golfer. And this is our reference. And what we're trying to do is create an eight inch long divot that's four inches on each side of the line. So we wanna be uniform with this, okay? But even if it's not, maybe it's three inches on this side and five inches on this side, that's still fine. You could probably even be two and six and still hit a really good bunker shot, okay? So once we get our feet dug in and we put this line in the sand, we're gonna set up and our goal is, once again, four inches on each side of this line. And we want these divots to be shallow. So if you're working on this drill and your divots keep being really deep, one adjustment you may want to make is as simple as just making the club a little bit shorter. Okay, it depends on how soft the sand is, how, how much you dig your feet in. Those are certainly factors with this. All right, so I'm going to set up, once again, four inches on each side. My club face is basically square like it would be on a pitch shot. And you can see that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty uniform. That was about four and four on each side. So. This is a drill you certainly need to put a little time into and, and for a lot of players, I think the depth of the divot might be, might be the hardest part for players. So that's where we, you know, just like we do in the line drill, we want to feel like we're fairly firm through impact with that lead wrist. That's going to help to control the depth of the divot, okay? Now, once we get, get good at this drill, where we're four and four, or maybe even three and five consistently, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to think about the sand and what we want to do is we want to splash the sand onto the lip of the bunker. Okay, so no ball yet and I'm just going to move my body up here so I got a fresh piece of sand and once again four and four and I'm just trying to splash the sand onto the lip of the bunker. Once again, work on this a little bit. I'm just going to move up again and four and four splashing that sand on the lip of the bunker. Now, once we get comfortable with this, I'll just draw a new line in the sand here. Is now we can add the ball to the equation because we're getting very consistent with that shallow eight inch long divot. And we're also getting an idea of how that ball is gonna move with the sand when we splash it onto the lip. So get the feet set up, four and four, and just think about splashing that sand. Okay. Very nice shot. Now, the last step we're gonna talk about is controlling the distance. And a very easy way to get good at controlling your distance is through the length of your follow through. So I'm gonna do two shots. I'm gonna do one shot here where it's a, a shorter follow through, but everything that I've talked about still remains in place. Eight inch long divot, nice and shallow, four and four. So I'll get my feet set up four and four, and fairly abbreviated follow through. And on the next one, I'm going to just add a little bit more follow through, four and four. And that ball probably went about 15 to 20 feet further, just with more of a follow through, all right? And you know, that certainly depends on the conditions that you're playing in, whether the sand is, is soft or firm. Okay, once again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I just wanna give a quick shout out to Scott Johnson and Joe Bickham who requested a bunker lesson. 
I'm Ted Levine with Ted Levine Golf, Better Skills for Better Scores. Feel free to visit my Facebook at Ted Levine Golf or my website at tedlevine.com. Thank you and have a great day.